I wouldn't read much into this because you've got the, the, the weight Pressure of the market. Pressure on the markets overall. But this deal. Although Broadcom um, shares have re reversed too. They're now up after being down. Which early. would be positive for the deal because it doesn't look like people right. think it's going to be dilutive. Your point, Andrew, earlier was that you think to get synergy, you have to do a lot of whacking of employees. These guys have talked about $3 billion in synergies. That's like 10,000 engineers. By the way, that's the entire office in San Jose where Qualcomm is based. And I'm just saying. I find that a very attractive. I outcome. know you do. I'm just saying that in this <laughs> political environment, yeah. where all you hear about is an administration no layoffs, that wants right? jobs, 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 it was only to announce a transaction, which, by the way, Broadcom went in the White yeah. House and was supported by ago. the president originally before, before this, this transaction. Before this deal was announced, and he's already made that commitment to show that he'll bring jobs to America. Now he's going to synergize America, which is even better, more productive. Means, means laying off America? What are you your, saying? Your point is that I these are workers word. who would get rehired, that like, these are not jobs that are going away. They will get... I, I try and hire engineers every day in California. I can't. It's impossible. There's such a lack of engineers all across America, partly because our immigration policy doesn't let the good ones stay. But we, break, we train them at Harvard let me also or at MIT. Say this. Qualcomm famously, and you may say they overspend, but famously has spent on R&D. It is one of the great crown jewels of our technology industry, if you really think about what they've done. Right. And Broadcom, uh, You're talking and by about the way, Qualcomm. Has, Qualcomm. Okay. Broadcom is a very well-run company, well, but has never been famous there are many for shareholders, its R&D piece. There's many shareholders, including me, that think that Qualcomm is poorly managed. Okay. I don't like but mitigating the way, the my customers. I don't like that. That is not value creation. I would like adult supervision to come in through Broadcom, work it out with Apple, and make it so that I can make more money with Apple as opposed to litigating until the cows come home. Because there's a chance you could lose that litigation one day. I think what they've done was bad management. I'm glad to see them get cleaned out. That's what's really happening here. Many people that own Broadcom and Qualcomm, like me, want to see this. Want to. All right. And by the way, at $82, you, you might get it too. Right. I'm very happy. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.